Yo, what up, what up, guys? Ready to go here from Statement and the King of Prussia Mall, and I'm so excited to announce that I know it's been a while. I know you guys have been patient. I'm getting the DMs. You guys are telling me you missed the channel. We miss you guys. Thank you guys for being patient. I'm sorry for the wait. I'm gonna explain a little bit later in the video of what is going on, but for now, we're open. This is the store. We live. Let's go look at it. So if I, I believe I still have the clips of the older, uh, we got TV out there. <laughs> I believe I still have the clips um, of the store before we actually did it. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send it to. Speaking of, before we even continue and go on, give me this, give me this. This is Spence. Spence, say hi to the channel. How are you doing? How are you doing? Spence is gonna be the new guy for the YouTube. Um, he is, uh, I wouldn't say replacing Tukes, but Tukes sucks, and uh, he lives in New York. Spence, new to the sneaker game, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I got okay. It. Okay, a little fit check. Okay, okay, easy on him, Spence. All right, all right, let's get back to the story. All right, so I'm gonna put the clips in here, guys, of what the store looked like before. We did a full remodel on this store. It is wild looking. I mean, from the floors to this giant sneaker wall behind you, and crazy. You guys are gonna see. But let's give you guys a, uh, a tour of the new store. So, uh, right when you walk in, I mean, Right off the rip, we got the heat locker. This is insane. And following that, it's gonna go similar to our other store was, but on a flip side. Also, we have uh, all these glass shelves now with all the Jordans starting with the ones and then going down in order all the way down to dunks and stuff like that. As we had the last time, we had those like short little cases where we were getting really stacked up because how many Yeezys were coming out. Uh, so now we have three cases down the center. Or three, it's actually six because they're, they're paired together. And it's gonna be all the Yeezys in the case up and down. We got the counter over here as opposed to in the last store was in the back. Obviously, we, we rung the sign. We had to bring the sign. Legendary. Uh, Keymaster's in that corner over there like it was in the last store. And then coming over here, we got a, couple, a little accessory case right here. We also have one in the back we'll get to. Accessory case right here. Then we got uh, hats and stuff like that here. And coming down to clothing, very standard from our last store, you know, Supreme and so on and so forth when it comes to designer and then it comes to like, you know, the new Hellstar stuff, the essentials, all that stuff down there. Um, awesome addition right here, love this. Tom's idea, I'm gonna give him his flowers. This is Tom's idea, he killed this. So we got these tablets on the wall here now. It's just an iPad basically, but it is blocked out so you can't like change the page of what it's on. And you could shop by size and basically, instead of going up to the shoe and asking an employee or scanning the bottom of the shoe, you could actually shop by size and see everything that we have in your size. Whether it's closing, whether it's dunks, whether it's Yeezys, whatever the case may be. Um, let's continue down with the rest of the store. You see guys, Yeezy heaven over here. Yeah, phone runners at the then this this is looking a little empty right now because we've been selling a ton of accessories. You guys are going crazy on the accessories right now. Um, but two accessory cases of, of just you know Supreme and uh, anti social. We got some vape stuff. You know, a little anti social dog bowl that I need to take home for one of my one of the pups. <laughs> uh, and then we got fitting room right here, and then still down to clothing that wraps around. You guys know what it is, be long and not social, all that kind of stuff. And coming to this wall, after after the, the giant wall with the statement sticker, uh, those are all men's size, and on this back wall is gonna be grade school from sizes three and a half up to seven, and then toddler and preschool wrapping around on the corner right here. But why we put this big wall up is because we had to get, you guys seen our storage. We literally had to buy a dentist office in the last YouTube video of uh, how much storage we had. So now when we cut this store in half, we could, we're gonna, we're, come look at the back, come look at the back. This is literally like heaven. I mean, yes, we are running out of room already, but this is like, just walk down this and feel this with me. Like, look at all of these Yeezys. It is crazy. Literally stacked to the ceiling. This is, this is, uh, this is Tom's like dream back room. This is wild. <sighs> How much shoes we could actually fit. This is actually the back of that, that locker. We could get a little, you know, peek. You actually can't open it from the front, but you guys can see. Honestly, beautiful piece right here. It's all lit up, very well made into the wall. Um, we still need to get better ladders. We get to get the rolling ones. We got some like heat over here. Then coming down here is just all Jordan. So Yeezy's on one side, Jordan's on the other. We're starting kind of in the back. So obviously it's gonna be like, you know, the 15, 13s, 12s. Start coming down. We got fours, we got threes. Uh, dunks over here. Tons of dunks. Little SB section. Ones from basically here to carry it out. And we got one lows down there, mids. This is gonna be like Nike miscellaneous, kind of how it's set up on the wall. You know, so the miscellaneous, like uh, 
Jordan 18s, foam posits, uh, all kind of stuff like that. So then, I was thinking like, where's all the clothes? We got some Air Forces here. There's Tom being a weenie. He no, he no longer hits the floor. <laughs> good fit though, good fit. Let's get a fit check on Tom. Come on, you don't miss, man. Every day here, he has been really on it. He's got the, the fog vanny boys, easy on him. The fog hoodie, when's the last time you seen this hoodie? Be real. When's the last time, come on. All right, let's go. Fog hat, too. oh my. Okay. We're gonna have a day. So don't judge our mess right here. Uh, we are still trying to fix this area. This, this And we actually are in the process of fixing some of it right now. This area is, uh, it's a mess. We have so much clothing. We made some rows. These are like your standard sneaker boxes. A lot of you guys have, this is like container store, like regular sneaker boxes that we had to start putting clothes in. And you guys seen that a little bit Cherry Hill, but we kind of made a middle row for that. And coming over here, we got some spider stuff. And we literally have just boxes of uh, Bape, Bravest Studios, some fog here. And I, it, it, like a set blue essential. Why do we have small through XL, a giant box of blue essential hoodie from like 2018, I believe, like crazy. Uh, then all here is still like, like I said, all these shirts that you guys have, I believe you guys seen in a, in a previous video is just a uh, Bape, v -Lone. and coming down here, as you see a mess of essentials, insane amounts, boxes and boxes of it all on the wall here this is all essentials and we are now moving these racks come on you gotta, you gotta stay up with me here good luck <laughs> all right so these racks right here we, we had put these racks in but they're a little low so if it's like you know as you can see the bottom is almost touching so we're gonna have to move it up a little bit and we're also gonna add some so as you see all the way up here we're starting to put uh hoodies and stuff like that we had a ton out that's why you see them out we had a ton out that wrapped around only up to here now we moved it up so that we could get more space and another add a couple more rows um there's just too much there's just far too much uh tom's a madman it's fire if y'all ain't on this yet if y'all ain't on the hell start yet i got so that was a really quick uh brief i'm sorry if i talk too fast i get really excited about these videos um i hope you guys can keep up but I do want to talk about what took so long. You know, obviously we were in Cherry Hill Mall, then we put that video out and we haven't really done anything since. Um, for legal purposes, I can't talk too much about what happened. I can give you guys a briefing, but I can't talk about too much about it. So, um, although we signed the lease here before you guys even seen that we closed the store down video, that, that lease was signed for a while now. So you're talking over a year ago that we signed the lease here and we weren't in for a while. I'm not gonna talk about why, but however, Long story short, we got the keys, I wanna say like May or June, we got, we actually physically got the keys to the store in our hand. Um, it took a while. Then after that, then we can actually start building. So that whole time that, you know, everyone was expecting us to do our build out and really getting the store prepped for what's going on, we couldn't even start. I mean, we, we like I said, we had we, we had so much plans because we have a, a five year contract in this mall. So we wanted it to be top notch for you guys. And we didn't wanna like skip or cut any corners. So it was just hectic, you know? I mean, we were talking, we had the jackhammer floors out, you know, had like this tile actually, right? That was right here. We had to knock down walls, you know? And that, and obviously we couldn't do that as much as we want to. And we did all, every other store we've uh, owned. We had to be all contractors. So they kind of, you know, they're, they're not gonna work to, to how fast we want to work and how fast we would have done the work, but because of the union, we had to. So that, that it is what it is. We weren't allowed to physically do the work in the store. Contractors had to do it. They're gonna take their sweet time. Um, and not like they might have took in their sweet time, but you know, they get done at like three in the afternoon, you know, as opposed to like, we would work three days in a row, no sleep. Like we would get, we would get it done. But that's, that took alone, you know, from whenever, you know, you say July to like, you know, we opened November 20th or November, I'm sorry, Black Friday. So I think the 25th, November 25th was what was uh, our soft opening. And then, you know, we had our grand opening uh, a couple weeks after that, but man, it, it took forever and we really didn't have much content to give you guys, nor could we even work on content. Like I said, with, with Tooks being up in New York and, uh, and you know, us not knowing what days were coming to the mall to like do something or bring stuff to the mall. We didn't have, we couldn't uh, like get people to one, be on the same track, to video, to video all this stuff going on, to then edit. What's the special delivery? Oh my God. Bring that over here right now. What? What is this from? Who, how much does he want for this thing? What size is it? Give me a get it. Five, seven. Jesus Christ, Saucy. You guys remember Saucy, and he's the, he had the horrible fits on the channel. <laughs> no, I don't know about that one. Today I do got a horrible fit, but 
Oh my. You guys know what this is? Hold on. Show the channel like they, they, they should know what this box is. I mean, it might be a little hard to tell, but if you've seen him unwrapping it, you've seen what box it was. I don't know what color is in here. I'm gonna guess. I'm going with green. I'm going with green. I guess it's the green pair. Crazy, crazy, crazy on these. Oh, I was wrong. All black, Louis Vuitton, Air Force One. How ironic is that? We start video and then this comes in for sale. I don't know what size it is. Size seven. That's a small guy. Not a bad size though. Good money size. Crazy, I love this. Don't even come over here, Tom. Like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Why you're standing? I told him to come in. Huh? I said I told him to come in. I don't believe you. Size seven. No, it's not. Black Air Force One. You were on. You were standing there when I just said it. <laughs> All right, well here, take him and go give this guy a quote from Price. We're doing a video, but I had to get these out of the car. I mean, how can you not? Here you go. The mob at front? I didn't see a mob out for. Oh, from from the, the TV. Table, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, there's like 60 people out there. Oh my gosh. So Tom, today, while we're recording this video, is uh, the final, the what is it, the FIFA World Cup or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a sports person. I don't really watch sports. I know it's like Argentina versus uh, France, and uh, it is wild right now. Yeah, a lot of people are coming in, they're watching on their phone, so we put it on our display outside to let everybody watch. So this is, this is what happened with Tom when they put the game on. We gotta go watch this ourselves, I guess. Crazy. I don't really watch sports, so. So I can't really introduce you to our new employee now. But oh, let's talk about who is not here and not working in Statement no more. So, Mike, if you guys remember, uh, he ended up doing his own thing with uh, with another store owner. So he's he is no longer with us. He was the person that I hired on the spot, if you guys recall. Uh, that video. It was one of our definitely most viewed videos. Uh, so Mike is no longer with us. We still are in contact with him. Mike is awesome. Um, Nick is no longer with us. I, I don't know if he was still with us towards the end of the channel. I don't believe he was as a, uh, anyway, but Nick is no longer with us. Uh, check him out. He is down in Florida now and he has his own, I believe it's called Timeless, his store. He's got his own store. He's killing it. He's doing a great job. Uh, JR is no longer with us anymore. And who else? Dallas is also no longer with us. He has his own store as well. Um, but we do have now uh, someone someone in the store, and his name is Dan, but on this channel and forever, and if you guys talk to him, if you come in here, you're gonna call him Dinkleberg because that's what we named him, and that's it. Like, that's it. There's, and it's very fitting for him. That's just who he is. He is Dinkleberg, and there's no other questions about it. So he's helping a customer right now, but we will introduce uh, him in a little bit. Obviously, you guys seen Saucy a little earlier. We still got Saucy, we still got Billy, uh, Brandon, who else works here? I don't even know. I feel like we're missing someone. Someone's gonna watch this video after and be like, yo, why didn't they just say my name? Like, like well, if you're watching, Tron. you're fired. Tron doesn't work G. here. Oh, g Easy, g Easy, obviously. Tom's now, oh, over the time period, Tom's now engaged. So you don't have to, you don't. I know. <laughs> you don't have a ring. Anyway, so Tom is now engaged to uh, g Easy. They're doing their thing. Congrats to them. God, I feel like YouTube has missed so much, like, big events. But we also don't have mirrors in the store. Tom wanted me to announce that because it's my fault for some reason. Um, we took the mirrors from the last store, but one of them broke. And the other one we still do have, but it's too skinny, so it's in the fitting room. We are supposed to be having mirrors on this, like, big pillar where you see these uh, human-made and, you know, CPFM rugs. Uh, there's supposed to be a big mirror under there and on the other side to really complete the store and also hook, hang up backpacks, which that one is my fault. I didn't do it. I was too tired to do it last night. Tom hates me for it. Whatever. Um, I got a dog. And I got another dog. I got two little Frenchies. They will be in the store. Uh, they need to go through some training first because they, they play too much. Uh, so we're going to have them in the store a couple times. So Brandon took a, took a, took a big leap with Dinkelberg, actually. Um, and they moved closer to the wall. They moved like 10 minutes away from the wall because they knew they were going to be working here. Drake was right. Drake was right? Drake bet on Argentina. Hey, come here. You got to be on the, on the tubes. What do you mean full 90? What does that mean? They went to extra time. Really? 
Oh, well, okay, so I'm sorry, Drake, you lost your bet, but you, you made a good call, yeah, they still won. All right, so hey, guys, this is Dinkberg. Like I said, do not refer to him as Dan, do not call him by his government name. His name is Dinkelberg, that's who he is. You can clearly tell why, he's just Dinkelberg, okay? So, um, Dink, Dink does uh, some reselling with Brandon. Sloma, as you guys know, uh, on the side before they actually worked here, and they still, you guys still do it, right? You still do a ton of, uh, you know, reselling, uh, and you can sign at other other stores and stuff like that, right? So yeah, this is Dink. He's the newest addition to the to the channel. Even though we lost a couple guys, he's the new guy here. Let's get a fit check on him. <laughs> let's 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 get it because his fits sometimes be out crazy. Who do you got on? What's on foot? Air Max ones every day. Okay. All I wear. What what is your what is your uh, what's your like dream shoe? What is like your end all favorite shoe? I don't know. I mean, I like the Grinches, but Brandon gave yeah. them to me, so. Okay, so you haven't wore them yet? Yeah. Oh yeah, you wore them on Grand yeah. Opening. Grand Opening you wore them, yes. Okay. Okay, the Grinch is a good shoe. Kobe's, good shoe. That's about it. You take a lot of basketball sneakers, right? What is, uh, you have, you have a brand. It's, uh, what's it called? Court Style. Court Style. So that makes sense because basketball sneakers and, and court, yeah. Got it. Cool. Cool name. Um, all right, Dick, get back to work. We don't want to talk to you no more. Say bye to YouTube. <laughs> so that's Dingleberg. He's he's the newest uh, addition to the family. He's he's good. He just you know he smells, but you'll see that when you guys come in. We got them recently, but box labels that? off. Got your off. Box labels off. Yeah, I, I could see even the yellowing yeah. too. I mean, the yellowing could be from wear. Oh yeah, like age. But yeah, you could even the font. This yeah. is like kind of glossy. This is not. The biggest thing is just the Wings logo. I would try to contact them. It's gonna the be logo. hard though. I mean. They're gonna tell you to go scratch realistically because yeah. who's to say you didn't change that pair out in, in that much time? You know, I understand if it's next day or something like that. Like, hey guys, this is fake, whatever. You know, did yeah. you blacklight it? Just curious. They're not blacklight it. I feel like. Fire right there. All right, thank you yeah. for looking at it. I mean, just if, I mean, it's up to you if you want to take any pictures for reference. Just because. I understand they might say something about the pair, but you can tell from the box instantly that you know the, oh, yeah. the pair's off just from the tags. Yeah, and you see from the material, it's not. This is glossy, but you can like yeah, it's like really dark. Yeah, one's like a faded, like, yeah. a, like a, almost like an ash too. Yeah. Yeah. They can't really argue that you know you peeled their sticker off and put it on yeah. the box. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying if they change it, if you change out the shoe for a fake, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's say originally that I mean, yeah, actually you can't because the box is fake too. So exactly, it wouldn't even matter yet. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that man. Have a good one. If you move, I could then show YouTube the airport. Sorry. Yo, it's tomorrow. It's not your birthday. It's my birthday. Anyway, guys, this is uh this is our new product that you guys seen. Uh, we did a couple videos on this, the sneaker cleaner. Uh, this is something we're really proud of right here. This is a really dope uh, Really dope for the car people, you know. As you guys know, if you guys read any of those like articles about me or knew about me or follow me and my channel, uh, anything like that. I'm a car guy at heart originally, you know. And the sneakers just kind of paired with it, and I just love them both. So, little little sneaker into the car action. Uh, we designed these air fresheners right here. Um, we got you know some some Brett Elevens, Cool Gray, Chicago's. This is the only one that I'm not too happy with the UNC. I mean, everyone loves UNCs, obviously. You all buy UNCs. But if you guys know, there's no black check on a UNC, but if I used a blue check, you wouldn't really see it, and it would kind of just get lost in the sauce there. So uh, we couldn't really do a blue check on, on the air freshener. Uh, then we got the Dior ones with the Dior fragrance too. Like each one of them have like a different fragrance, but that the Dior, come on, has to have Dior with it. We got some fours, we got the Wild Flight fives, we got the Trap Scott six, some Louboutins for the ladies, obviously the spiky joints, uh, some OG Air Maxes, we got the Fear of God ones, the J Balvin's, the Fragments, 
uh, the Travis Scotts, then I don't know if you guys can see, we got some original Yeezys over here, some uh, some Solars and some Red Octobers. We got some 750 for our OG Hypebeast heads, Wave Runners, Zebras, uh, Frozen Yellows, fire, fire. We gotta change them out in the car. Something for like five bucks each. Maybe we'll link it. Maybe we'll link it in the description. I am in the process right now of trying to get these on um, on Amazon. They should be done really soon. I don't know about, about the time you guys see this video, but they should be done pretty soon. Uh, however, they are on our website and you could just uh, look them up on there. So I'll leave the description below of this video so you guys could purchase them. Like I said, they're five bucks each. They're awesome. Well, I didn't show them, but they seen me use our, our new <clears throat> little paper guy. Fire. Yeah, let me get a piece of gum, dude. Didn't even ask, right? Hey, seriously, you just pulled it out and like didn't even offer it. Stop asking me for a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's not yours. <laughs> that was not mine. All right, well, good. Then you, I guess you were complaining. <laughs> what do you mean, goddamn? It's not yours. That was seven. You want one, Spencer? Yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> that was seven. Thank How you. Does he get one? Thanks for asking. No, no problem, dude. How does he get one? It's not your gun. That is it's true. Not my gun. I'm gonna re-explain what we're doing here uh, for you that are new to the channel. But basically is whatever is in the key master, I'm gonna give you a, a rough, just like view of it. And then we're gonna go in the back and count. So now at the end of this video, you're just gonna see the pile. You're not gonna know the exact number. Whatever that number is, you're gonna have to watch our beginning of our next video that we release is gonna tell you the exact total. So if you comment on this video before the next video is released and get the exact amount of the exact number, we will send you the cash via Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, whatever, however you want it. If you want it physical cash and you live close to the store, you can come pick up the cash itself. Um, but this is our Key Master game for all the videos. You guys gotta drop a comment. Let's give you the preview. All right. So, this is our little makeshift because our, our thing broke, but we got a 10 in here. That's big vibes. So now it is $1 to play the game. Just so you guys know, this is from just today. Now there, there's tens, fives, all that. This is the only sneak peek you get. That's it. Comment, drop your guesses, what you think that amount is. If you get it exactly on the head, you win it. You only get one, one comment per person. You get the answer on the next video. And that's it for you guys. So if you guys are watching this, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. I'll see you guys on the next one.